Hey guys, welcome back to G of All Trades, where I share with you the games that I play. Today, I am going to share with you the contents of Warriors of the Wind. The Unicorn Clan Pack for the Legend of the Five Rings Living Card Game by Fantasy Flight. This is not an unboxing video though, since I already had this pack before I started my YouTube channel, so this will be a contents video. If you are still on the fence whether or not you want to use the power of the Unicorn Clan to your existing L5R collection, I hope this video will help you decide. Let's get to it! So let's open this clan pack. Alright, these are the cards and there is a story booklet. Sometimes they provide a rules insert but this time it's a story booklet. So if you closely follow the Legend of the Five Rings story, it's a great read. So let's look at the cards. Shiro Shinjo is the new unicorn stronghold. Now it allows unicorn to gain tons of faith to fuel its high-costed characters, events, and attachments. Kant's Ordu is the new Unicorn Province. Now, it plays the Unicorn strengths, helping them to make sure that a military ring will always be on their side. Support of the Unicorn allows non-Unicorn players to take advantage of the clan's powerful, splashable cards. So we have Shinomen Wayfinders. It's a great surprise character helping you the most when you need that extra military push. Iuchi Dayu is the daimyo of the Yuchi family. His ability synergizes pretty well with Shiro Shinjo. Spoils of War is a great card advantage swing. It also costs zero fate and is definitely splashable. So we have Young Warrior. She's a cheap, beefy when honored and has all the relevant keywords a unicorn player needs. Speak to the Heart helps make sure that a unicorn player does not get behind on political conflicts. Wild Stallion is another cheap unicorn character which will make your opponent carefully plan his or her defense. Yuchi Farseer helps fuel Shiro Shinjo and has the Shugenja keyword. We have Compass. Uh, it's a free attachment with plus one political and allows you to plan your draw. Otaku Battle Steed. Uh, it's an attachment that honors your unicorn character. Curved Blade. Uh, it's a free weapon that greatly boosts your military strength. We have Trading on the Sand Road. It's a very tricky card to play. It could help you if your fate deck is full of keyword relevant only cards. If you haven't done so yet, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel. It will help out a lot. I will regularly post unboxing videos, content videos, strategy, and other stuff. I appreciate it. Ring of Binding is your reprieve if you go first. Warriors of the Wind helps fuel your movement tricks. We have Aranat. It's a high-costed character with an ability that will give your opponent a hard choice. Shosuro Hyobu is a scorpion courtier that adds dishonor fuel. Kakita Ryoku is a great crane courtier to have on your side when you have the Imperial Favor. Ivory Kingdom's Unicorn is not exactly a unicorn but plays like a unicorn. Ikoma Anakazu allows you to retaliate when your opponent breaks one of your provinces. Agasha Taiko helps protect your important province when you are at a disadvantage. Kaito Nobukai counters wide boards and clans that play on movement like the unicorn. Moto Chagatai is one big bad dude. Enough said. Sadia al Mozedu is a scholar and has sincerity. You can target your provinces which has upon reveal abilities or you can also shut down your opponent's most powerful province. Visiting Advisor is a splashable unicorn courtier with an eject ability. Shinjo Trailblazer should always be on the vanguard of your army. Hida Turu is a crab cavalry that gets bigger whenever another character shows up on the conflict. So that's it for the pack contents video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know down in the comments if you already have this pack or is thinking of buying it. Also let me know what cards in this pack have the biggest impact on your game or any combo 
combos or tricks that you might be using. Also, if you are ever in Manila, Philippines, we have a great community of players here. Here are our tournament schedules for this month. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much and I'll see you all on the next one.